What if I told you that scientists have found this in almost every part of your body? What are called microplastics. Microplastics. Dangerous microplastics. Those are microplastics, minuscule particles found in the gut, the blood, and the brain. Scientists say they clot arteries, linking them to heart disease and hormone disruption. But what exactly are microplastics? Imagine a plastic bottle thrown into the ocean. As it's tossed around by the waves, smashing into rocks, it breaks up into smaller and smaller pieces. The pieces you can see with the naked eye are microplastics. Those too small to see are nanoplastics. The whole planet is penetrated by microplastics. It's in uh, deepest uh, uh, points of the ocean. It's high on the, on the mountains. You inhale it, you drink it, you eat it. It's everywhere. All because humans generate an estimated 380 million tons of plastic waste every year. And even if you think you've cut out single-use plastics from your life, scientists say you're probably still contributing because of one everyday task. Laundry. Each time you wash clothes made of plastic fibers like polyester or spandex, tiny pieces shed into the water system. Now scientists and engineers at Columbia University are tackling this source of pollution. According to one of the researchers, one third of all microplastics pollution in the world's oceans can be traced back to laundry. That's actually the global in the ocean, but in the urban centers, they can reach to 80 percent. 80 percent? Yes. So Dr. Yan and his team are developing a device that can attach to a washer and filter out the plastics. This is a new technology that's actually using these fil advanced filtrations to remove majority of the nanoplastic and, and microfibers and microplastics from your waste. Dr. Yan's team showed us what the washer spits out when it does your laundry. Those bits floating around are plastic fibers from a polyester blanket. When they run it through the filters, the water is cleaned and the plastic fibers are left behind. And this would end up in the water? This would end up in the water. If, for, if, if not if for not, your filter. Exactly. This is why laundry is such a huge problem. Exactly, yeah. But more worrying than those visible orange fibers are the ones that you can only see with a highly advanced microscope. That mass of what looks like gray pasta, those are tiny microplastics, some of them hundreds of times thinner than human hair, others even smaller. This is about eight times smaller than a blood cell. This is at 500 nanometers. That means if ingested, these fibers and particles can cross the blood-brain barrier or even get into the placenta of a pregnant woman. We have no idea what they do, right. exactly. But it can't be good? It can't be good. Yeah. I mean, we should just use common sense to think that we shouldn't be ingesting these types of particles. The filter is still in its early stages, but the team hopes it could be on the market as soon as two years. A new solution to a health hazard we're just beginning to understand. Aaron McLaughlin, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.